Good morning, everyone. Um, so these guys spent their first night out here last night, and I haven't really shown you what the new setup is. Uh, I know I showed you the video of the old setup for these guys, but we've moved them now that we finally got this finished. Uh, we still have quite a bit to do in here, really. Um, that side's pretty much full of scrap metal for now. I don't know if you can, can't really see it very well on here. No. They use this and right, this wire cage right here. And uh, another one put together is what they were in, but we used that one to bring them out here. Yeah, they're all having a heyday over here because I spilled some feed. Anyway, so here's the setup for right now. This is kind of like the big area. So, um, yeah, the I guess you can see the fence ends right over there. And then over in here is a little warm area for everyone. So they don't all get cold. Got about three heat lamps going here. Especially in the, for night time when it gets, let's say, they all seem to be pretty, pretty good this morning. So obviously last night didn't go too bad. It got below freezing last night. So the metal really helps because it'll just reflect the heat right back onto them. At first we had the heat lamps a little bit higher. But then, uh, noticed they were kind of piling on top of each other because they were cold. But lowered them and then they all kind of got evenly spaced out and we're doing great. So, <laughs> these are kind of our trial buckets. They were interesting. Um, this one actually seems to be working well. It wasn't really, we didn't think it was going to work last night. They're all over there fighting. Goofballs. Anyway, so that is their feeder right now. Woohoo. I think this bucket's going to be turned into a feeder because we kind of messed it up. It leaks pretty easily. Um, actually, I don't know. Is it frozen over? No, it's not frozen over. That's nice, though. Uh, a lot of the water outside was frozen solid, so I'm kind of glad that they didn't freeze over. Eventually, we'll probably have to move them to a different spot or have, like, a heat lamp or something near them come winter time. But that's still a long ways away, so. And I just threw this one back in here. Uh, it's as you can see, it's pretty little, something familiar to them. But yeah, um, this one's another water that we did last night. It actually appears to be working pretty darn well. We thought they weren't going to work because the, uh, goodness, what was I going to say? The lids were really completely airtight. But it appears to be working, surprisingly enough. That one, as you can see, there's a nice big white spot on the floor from that one. Sadly. So that one will probably be turned into another feed bucket. That way we can have one more bucket to do right there. And then the lids and stuff are over there. Yeah, um, yeah, the heat lamp, you, can't, you probably can't see it. There's a wire that runs along here and holds that. It runs from one side to the other. Uh, the water in here doesn't, it's not the water itself. The height is broken here, so. For now, that's unusable. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup, and these guys are all having a heyday. They're in a area about from here to the wall, is how big their thing was before. So, they're nice and spread out now, and they got plenty of room as they grow. You know, this should calculate it about three feet per bird, roughly. So, they'll have plenty of room as they grow. Oh, goodness. Yeah, how are you guys doing? <laughs> like, what are you putting that down here for? I'm starting to be able to kind of see the difference between our hens and our roosters. And I think it's about even, pretty much even. So that's a nice little benefit. But yeah. Oh, there you guys. Oh, excuse me. Thanks for watching, and hope you're having a great, great, great Friday. Have a good weekend, too.